What kind of music occurs in your dreams? How are those dreams maybe reflective of memories that you're processing as you sleep? And how do those sounds, like the narratives in our dreams, get blurred? Resonant Geographies is the culmination of a multi-year, multi-staged um, project featuring an 11-piece version of my Janus Ensemble. It consists of a seven-movement album-length suite that serves as a meditation on the connections between sound, places, community, and memory. There's this ongoing thread in the history of jazz that, you know, we say something when we play. Um, we sort of signify on uh, the tradition, on players that have come before us, and that imp improvising, taking solos or playing pieces, is a kind of form of storytelling. So I was really drawn to different ways that people have told stories. So the Janus Ensemble has um, appeared in, in different incarnations. Initially, I envisioned it as a quintet, with myself, reed player Marty Ehrlich, guitarist Liberty Elman, bassist Drew Gress, and drummer George Schuler. Over the years, it's been expanded and contracted in different ways, and on Resonant Geographies, the ensemble consists of 11 performers. The kind of standard nine performer uh, instrumentation that includes the quintet, plus Bill Lowe on tuba and trombone, Marcus Rojas on tuba, and a second drummer, Chess Smith, as well as the amazing reed player, uh, J.D. Perrin. Um, so that's kind of the nine-piece configuration. On Resonant Geographies, I've added to the group uh, trombonist and old uh, friend of mine, Michael Desson, as well as another incredible reed player, uh, Oscar Noriega. With each of these players, I have different kinds of histories, and it's a real joy and a privilege to be able to make music with such distinguished um, and individual voices in this music. I compose for each individual in the group. So I don't really think, oh, this is a tuba part. I actually think this is Marcus Rojas playing, and he happens to play the tuba. Um, I, I think the same way about every single member of the band. So when I write a part for J.D. Perrin, for instance, who's featured on Dreaming, one of the, the, the movements from Resonant Geographies, um, I'm not thinking simply this is an alto clarinet part. I'm thinking this is JD's voice here. I mean, in that way, I, I'd say that I'm very influenced by composers like Duke Ellington or Charles Mingus, who really thought of the people in their groups not as just sort of an instrument, but as individuals with spe a specific voice. I'm really excited to be partnering with P.F. Mintum to release this album. It's appearing in three different forms, CD, digital download, and I'm very excited about this, a double vinyl. <laughs> P.F. Mintum, along with Nine Winds Records, is a key cornerstone documenter of creative and experimental and improvised music in California. They have a long track record of releasing uh, um, innovative, uh, groundbreaking work by musicians that are that have been part of the California scene for decades at this point. Of course, they also release music by artists all around the world. But I'm super excited to be in the context of that company and to be part of this kind of historical trajectory as somebody from California who has deep roots there artistically and personally. I'm, I'm particularly thrilled to be in this company.